Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Spin Rack. I'm here with the boys, PD and Kyle. Say what's up, guys? Yo. Yo, today we're talking about the hottest trailer that's just been dropped, Matrix Resurrection. Oh, my goodness. The official trailer is here. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to say whether we love it or not. Select the play it. Okay, San Fran. You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me? Like cat again. Stop it. I had dreams that were just dreams. Been good. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. What about yeah. You? Yeah. White rabbit. Rubber ducky. Hey! Wait, wait. Trinity doesn't recognize him? He doesn't recognize himself. <laughs> oh, he's taking the pills. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> you too, Neo? <laughs> the one. The one. <laughs> oh, they had to... Whoa! No, 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 no. We are in agreement. That's some straight rubbish. What? Lana? Rubbish. Rubbish. Apologies. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. What's the? Where's Morpheus? Who's this dude in the dress? Christmas time. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that when um No Way Out's coming out? We'll go back in a second. Just keep. That looks good. Oh, no hope, no hope. Wow. Uh, he's back. Whoa. This girl is good. Oh, the blue hair. I gotta say, the graphics look excellent. The shots. Oh man, I love that. Destroying a helicopter with their own missile. You got nothing to say, do you? Oh man. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. I gotta say, but that, that look. The glaring issue is Morpheus. Morpheus. What the hell happened to Morpheus? I guess they, I guess they decided any black guy will do. Well, Kanu no, Reeves, he, the he, black guy. It's not any black guy. That is the one to call. Who do we get? Um, who are you gonna call right now? <laughs> that dude is the guy. That's not Morpheus. <laughs> I'm not saying he is, but that you said the person to call. They call. That dude, the buzz from the Black Mirror, Aquaman, Candy. Oh, Candy. that's the dude. What's the his Black name? Man, he's a, the, what's his name? Doctor Manhattan. He's he's the guy they he's on. He's the bad phone now. When that thing lights up, <laughs> they call that dude out. When you need a black man, and it don't look good. <laughs> Oh man, they got my cat Calypso just walking by. R.I.P. Calypso. Uh, she was she was a great cat. <laughs> Calypso makes an appearance here. How did your cat get in the movie? I don't know. And she's been gone a long time. I think you've been tucking those pills again. <laughs> when you need a brother in the movie, they usually call Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. This dude, I don't even know his name. No, we Could need a character me? actor, a black character actor you call Samuel L. Jackson. Could you imagine Sam L. as Morpheus? My God, that would be terrible. Cussing up a storm. God damn, what you doing? <laughs> oh, you don't do that. Oh, no, that's... um. Now we got Doogie Howser in this. Doogie Howser. I don't trust Doogie Howser. I'm tired of these mother effing robots in this mother effing matrix. <laughs> exactly. Look, was there anything in here that you wanted to look at? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm looking now at the chick, the chick, the woman with blue hair. 
Hold on, before we go to the blue hair chick, is there anything in this thing? Well, do, 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 no, I don't want to call him Duke. Patrick, Neil Patrick Harris. I wonder if he is going to be the, the ultimate bad guy. You know, like they set him up and he he's just in there talking to, to Morpheus. Because we know this is not the real world. This is just, you know, a construct within the machines, right? So the question is, who is he in this? You saying he's a bad guy because he has a bad sense of style? No, I'm saying he's a bad guy because he's in the machine's world. Why would he I go to the psychiatrist? Are you kidding me? That's, that's, that's NPH, man. That's huh? NPH. N that's Doogie. Doogie's not going to be the bad guy. <laughs> he's the guy who's supplying the, the, the drugs, most likely. He's giving the them the drugs, though. The blue pills, yeah. So that's why I'm thinking he's the bad guy. I don't know. Okay. And somebody had somebody had to go in the, the camp. Like the rims. Else. This has um, been like a Warner Brothers back pocket thing for a while, where it's like, when do we we need to pull this out? We're gonna pull this guy out. And it's free is, on HBO Max, bro. Right now, on, it's when it comes out on Christmas on HBO Max. It's gonna be it's gonna be regular price. Yeah, regular in the theaters or HBO Max. I don't know about watching the Matrix in, in, at home. Oh come on, get off it, bro. There we go. There we go. After the indecency, what they did to her on uh, what's that thing on the uh, what's that what's that show Alias or Jessica Jones? We got our girl back. She looks good. I gotta say. Well, and the power moves are on, but not recognizing the one, the one you're fated for. You want everything explained in the. You think that she doesn't know? Maybe she's the one who pulled him out of the his miasma the first time. Maybe that's what they're going for this time. Not the exact same thing, bro. Oh, no, differently. Obviously, he's got he's got under a ton of pills. To keep. Why change? Why change it? It's working. That's what a sequel is. Do everything double, was, double size. Trinity is the only. What is it? Trinity was the only reason why he went in, did all this stuff in the first place. So why would it be any different to bring him out the second time? And she's there. Who's going to bring him out? Sure, it's not going to be Morpheus. He's not in the movie. Well, we see the girl with the blue hair seems to be leading him someplace. She looks to most likely be working. She's probably having that kind of role with him that um, Trinity had, you know? Mm -hmm. There's the juice scene where, you remember in um, uh, Tupac and Juice and Omar Epps? What's the name Omar Epps in the back and Tupac comes in there? Everybody, they didn't have phones like that back when Juice was on, bro. I'm saying the how it's put together, having the one guy in the back of the elevator, it's the, it's the one of the best scenes in Juice. Okay. See it. All right, we're going deep. We're going really yeah. uh, deep. Thank you. Bro. Wait, you're saying that for the for the black content? Man, what is going on with you guys? It must be too early in the morning. You guys not getting a Juice reference? Damn it. The Juice reference, I think, is really going deep. Good trailer. Good trailer overall. Obviously, yeah. they're making obviously they're making the social commentary on a whole bunch of stuff. But as usual, there's a bunch okay, of stuff. Back, wait we rewind that face. Rewind that face. Okay, so he's in the Matrix. He's gotten older, and now he look. This is how he's supposed to really look. No, I don't know if that's the case. I mean, because he's he looks look. He, we we have older Kanu Reeves, and we also have this guy here. He's watching himself in the mirror. And he's a much older. Actually, he even looks a little different. He doesn't even look like himself. So I'm not sure what that represents, or you know. Then Morpheus. <sighs> Morpheus. It's the glasses that got me. As soon as he put on the glasses, ball head, I said, "Yeah, that's Morpheus." And he's giving him the red pill. The red pill. It's like, take this, and you will be aware again. It's a reflection. It's the same thing. They only got one of the... The Wachowski brothers? I mean, one of the Wachowskis? They're broken. There you go. You want to talk about blue hair? Bang. That chick, you know what she was in? What? Now, you know what she was in? No. Iron Fist. Who? That's not, uh, that's not what's the name. That's Jessica Hedrick? That's Hed Jessica Hedrick. Yeah, he's right. That is her. Who with the girl who played um, Colleen Wing? Yeah. Yep, that's her. Wow. 
I bet you her, I bet you her martial arts is excellent now. <laughs> it's not in slow motion anymore. You see, she's get, opening the door for him. She introduces Neo. She takes him into a whole new location. Okay. All right, I can see it now. That's still in the Matrix, though. They're always in the Matrix, right? No. Right, right. It's They're in the real world. Why has he got a dress on? That's the kimono. It's a dress. But look, the thing is with Lawrence Fishburne is that, bro, when he comes in, he just eats the stage up. You know, it's like he did the, the wow, there goes Colleen Wing. I'm just saying he eats the, the, the stage up. I mean, his presence is just so powerful. Not knocking the other dude, but, you know, he's, what, he, he's just so powerful, bro. But the graphics look excellent, I gotta say. They look excellent. You can't knock the watch out streets on this. Racking up so much money, they said we gotta do another Matrix sequel. That was a long, you, you think they're still racking up money after all this time? Yeah. You think that Keanu Reeves is racking up money with all oh, of the properties yeah. he's working on? Yeah, yeah, he's hot as heck. He's a hot hand. They said Marvel, he had a meeting with um, Kevin Feige himself. But he's probably been having meetings with Marvel for years. Like, yeah. it's like, not like his stock really went down. It's just his stock got a lot bigger, you know. Now, was that? I mean, he, who do you think he would be uh, best? Who do you think he'd be best to play in, in Marvel? What character? I don't know, man. Who are you thinking? Ghost Rider. No. No. He's a motorcyclist. Ghost no. Rider would be excellent. There she goes, yo, off the chain. I love that walking on the walls business, shooting guns. Didn't they do that in the first movie? Yeah, loving it. It goes Neo with the power stopping the bullets. He's the one that using the missiles, moving the, the missiles to blow up another helicopter and jumping off the, the, the building. Yo, I'm there. That's all I got to say. Nice. This dude here, even though they got on him for, um, what's that thing? For, um, Who's him? the dude? Sweating. In the office? Huh? No, he was in Hamilton. He played the, was it the King of England? This is oh, the yeah. guy that played the King of England. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Rich, yeah, George, King George. I couldn't, I couldn't see him through all that spittle that he was dropping in the last, in Hamilton. So even though the whole point is in theater, that happens. They just had it on television and made it bad. But that he's a solid act. He's really fun. He's fun in everything he does. So this dude, if they if he was the bad guy in Hamilton, then he's gonna be the bad guy here. That's what you're telling us. I don't no. know. I'm happy he's here. No, he said he's a good actor. That's what he said. <laughs> but I'm just saying that I'm just using the analogy that you know he was a bad guy, King George. So here in the movie, who was the who was the main? Who do you remember being the King main? George was defending his empire. He wasn't a bad guy. Uh, the Americans thought he was a bad guy because he had raised their taxes and tried to limit their rights. So, yeah, on our end as revolutionaries, yes, he's a bad guy. Long live the revolution. Listen, so I'm saying, who do you, do you think he's what the guy who's commie nonsense the, is that? Never mind. <laughs> you think he's the guy behind the, um, the, uh, the, the Matrix? Wait, can we just wait for the movie? Can we wait for the movie? No, There's we no way so. to tell we, any we, of this we, stuff. We, we this see stuff. the guy in the chair for two seconds, man. And he played King George in Hamilton. So you're like, yo, probably this is the guy, you know? I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, we have, it could be Neil Packers Harris. It could be this guy. I'm just happy this guy's in it. Wait, wait. What happened to Agent? Um, did you, any of you guys check out Agent? What's the name? Agent? Agent Smith? Agent Smith. Are you going to the thing to see if he's in the movie too? Don't do that. I'm not, but I'm just saying, I just, I just overdid Major Smith. They can't bring him back again. Why not? They brought back. Um, I'm saying to you, you that know, they had three million Agent Smiths. If you did, at least the idea is you got rid of Agent Smith. Oh, I'm just saying. Here, here, we can settle that real quickly. Hey, Mars, would you bring back Agent Smith? I like Agent Smith. I yeah, like see, dry. they'll bring him back. They'll bring him back. <laughs> I liked him. You know, I mean, he doesn't have to be the main antagonist, but you know, what did he say that line? Humans are viruses. Yes, humans are 
viruses, and we are the cure. You know, I forgot how the movie ended. The last, the last one. What was the resolution? They beat the the, the, the computers. They stopped everything. The baby. He went. He went to the big baby. Remember? Remember the baby with the all that stuff. And so they they, they made it. Did you have a problem with your agents? They, 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 they worked together to stop Agent Smith from taking over the world. And then next thing you know, um, you know, there's a smile between the architect and the new Oracle. Because it was a bigger war going on. It was between the, the architect and someone else. And um, they, achieved the, they achieved a workable detente. We don't know what happens afterwards. Yeah, there you go. How do you achieve a workable detente? The freaking machines are exploiting people. Was it Agent Smith? Agent did you watch the movie? Yes, I did, but it's been a bit. To everybody. Okay, Agent Smith was going to be, he was going to ruin everything for, and not just for the humans, but for the machines right. as well. So you had to take care of him. They couldn't do it. Okay, so Neo was like, I'll come in and I'm going to help, the, I'm going to help you guys out, but you guys got to stand down this other nonsense. Okay. And then they were like, oh, we're going to have to give people choice. And some people will want to come out of the matrix. That was how they ended the whole thing terribly. But that's pretty much where we were at. Yeah. No. Now we see, now we're back years later. Neo's hopped up on drugs. Because it's in their nature. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're always going to sting. Can't recognize, can't recognize Trinity. Got chicks with blue hair running around. Some dude who thinks he's Morpheus is over here flying in a dress. It's all over the place. Kimono, kimono. Thank you. I've seen a kimono. That's not a kimono. Yeah, it's just a little one with a little bit more flair for our boy Mo Morpheus. No, kimonos can still be very masculine. That dude had looked like he had on a blouse. Okay? And he's not Morpheus. And I don't care who you tell. Yeah, I ain't tell. So, hey, overall, we did like this um, trailer. We thought it was very interesting. Um, so, hey, let's. Um, we're going to go check it out. Definitely, I'm seeing the movie, so... It's there's no question about it. Like I said, it's going to be on HBO Max. Probably go to the movie theater. I'm not sure. I was saving myself in, in, in December for um, Spider-Man. No Way Home. But, you know, probably just be yourself. That sounds... This is... Wait, 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 wait. When is Spider-Man... No, is Spider-Man No Way Home before or after this? No, it's before this movie, right? Yeah, I think the Christmas period. That's coming... This is actually coming out on Christmas. I think No Way Home is coming out. Let's see. No Way Home. You don't got to look it up. <laughs> you don't got to look it up. December, December 17th. 17th. December yeah. 17th. Okay, so they'll be okay. Because I think if they're in direct competition with Spider-Man, they shouldn't have done that. Yo, that's why they moved it. They should. Yeah. Someone they knocked Spider-Man off of the... the last now we got to go for our guy who should be in the film. Where Jada is he? Pinkett. Jada Pinkett. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the sequence when they walk in? I'm talking about so cool. Roy Jones. Get the Roy Jones back in here. Who? <laughs> Roy Jones Jr. No, he shouldn't have been yes. in the movie in the first place. Thank you. Thank you. Two no. of us can, look, he was cool in this. You have Roy Jones Jr. in the movie and he does no fighting. That's no, he did he did it in the in that freaking computer game, but they didn't have oh, him do anything. Okay. That, Excellent. That's how excellent. that's what should have happened with this movie. That's more obvious. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We're gonna we're gonna skip the Morpheus entering scene so we can look right. at Roy Jones yeah. Jr. Thank you. Thank you, Cal. Thank you, Cal. What? Who cares about Roy Jones Jr.? Go back to when Morpheus was walking in oh, with him and Neo. God. This was they they had him and they should have done more with him. He should have been showed up and done something besides the video games. Hey, Roy he Jones had down. his chance here, just like hey. he had his chance with Tyson. What did he do in both fights? That's Lay not down. the same thing. That is not the same thing. He laid down. He was like, oh. Dude, he took <laughs> off the Morpheus part when he walked in. You should have. We saw it, it didn't we? Down. You, and, and you just kept that's like that. Like so you know, you yes. had to cut it out. I don't know it. He's been in three movies. That's such cool. an iconic scene. They walk in, Morpheus is center. Okay, got what he's got what is it? Trinity? Neil, they are the Trinity. Morpheus is it. who did he get? We got some dude over here. Uh we got some dude over here flying around in a blouse now. Oh my gosh, it's a kimono. And he looks fine. It's just that he's it's missing the, the je ne sais quoi. He's missing the je ne sais quoi. The whole um, the whole the first time was it? What was he? We was looking at he was in that badass gi the first time they're over there in the dojo. Now look at him over here flying away in the blouse. Terrible. <sighs> All right. All right. Well, hey, like I said, we're going to watch it. This is definitely 100%. Yo, Warner Brothers got me here. 
This is the, they should probably you know what they should do? They should put the Matrix with the DC franchise. Combine it. Bam. You know, another See, DC like, world. You are like one of those people, just like the people that connected the Star Lord to the Marvel Universe. I never connected Star Lord to the Marvel Universe. It was never any connection to it. It was a it was like, just like Star Lord. Star Lord. Lord. Star -Lord. Star Lord, the character, he, they he just forced them into the Marvel Universe. You don't force something that could be its own thing into the DC Universe. Star Lord I is. May, I think he may have precedent, though. I think DC already did the Matrix comics, so oh. it would just be it would just be one step for them to say, "Yeah, no problem." They so, did the Watchmen. What what does oh, Watchmen have to do with this? I'm just saying they can do their own. World That's a DC stuff. property. I'm just saying this could be a DC property too. You're saying before Matrix, <laughs> after Matrix, yo, they did those comics. Right, hey guys, so hey. I don't know. Did either of you read the Matrix comics? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I read. I, the, I had. I mean, I had one of the trades here. Yeah, they had the After Matrix. They had the After Matrix comics, and then they had the Animatrix. You know, there was some yeah. good stuff over there. So they Animatrix. did some stuff like that. So Mars isn't too far off. But once again, you had to go too far. I'm not saying the myth. I'm not talking about comic books. I'm talking about the fact of marrying these two separate things that don't connect. This the Matrix is its own thing, and DC is not. You can do comic books and not be in the same world. You can be from the same company and not be from the same world. Dude, they stole so much from the comic books when they did this whole thing. The Wachowskis love comic books. They I'm said. I'm not saying they don't. You know, they did com They did Marvel comics, and the comic stole it right back. Don't you remember that small bill? Like, you don't on. remember that Smallville episode? That Smallville episode where they had uh, Clark in the Matrix and Chloe had to get him out? That BS? They stole everything right back. I don't know not, you can't them. worry. You can't worry about them. They've gone too far as far as Hollywood, and no one's going to be. Because ultimately, like, everybody and their mother said they had a connection to the Matrix. You know, somehow they tried to give it to, who's that guy? Um they tried to give it to Grant Morrison for a little while. They had the fake black lady who was the mother of the Matrix. Yeah. You know, there's some other stuff. But I mean, they their sources, there's a bunch of sources for it. But then just saying that's the reason why you're gonna marry it to to DC when those two guys were they were the Marvel Hellblazer line. They actually did Ecto Kid. But dude, you can go to different combo companies. You make it sound like you guys once you join one. No, you're group. saying that you try trying to make a direct line to it, then you like say, hey, Why can't we comic have books, it? and they're like, yeah, that doesn't mean Star yeah. Wars never. Well, now now they're doing. Did Star, they Wars is Star Wars meet the Marvel, Marvel Universe. They brought Conan in. They brought the aliens. So don't give me that, bro. All right, don't give me that. Have they done it with with Star Wars yet? <laughs> they did it with Conan and they did it with the aliens. So you know, and um, no, the, they've done the covers with the aliens. They haven't done it yet. They got yeah, two no, seconds. No, none of the Marvel characters has met the alien or the predator. We all said the same thing about Conan, and Conan is now there, right? So no, here's, here's, no. Here's where you're missing the argument. DC already did that stuff. DC, all the DC characters met both the alien and the predator. So that's where you could have went with it. No, you're right. You're right about that. Damn it. That's when it was on the dark I just helped. I just helped you right there. I know that's when it was on the dark that. horse. Don't forget, I just helped you. That was when it was in the dark horse. So I don't know if we really consider that legit. You know what I'm trying to say? A crossover's a crossover. You're saying in the dark horse, the people that were like they had they kept the Star Wars thing going. They kept it alive. Not Marvel. Marvel let it sink. Hey, yeah. the, the, it's, it's dark right horse now. mind. Marvel. Every single piece of Star Wars, the, every story that ever made a book, Dark Horse pretty much did it. Han Solo at uh, this end and so on and so forth. Marvel gets it. They're like, yeah, we're going to make some covers. Did they sell? Ah, oh, man. What you mean? Star Wars is one of the top selling comics of, throughout the years from Marvel. Now that they have Initially. Yeah. Now, when it came out, it, it came out like gangbusters. Marvel did a ton of variant covers. And then they were like, okay. Just keep putting Star Wars on the cover. Take the free money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen, this, this, is, this is not this is not working for our resume, gentlemen. So let's get back. No, to you tried to try. You tried to trash Dark Horse when, at the same time, you know your boys at Marvel and Image tried to get, you know, Star Wars from Dark Horse, and they didn't win. They did. You know, Marvel did, has. No, Dark you know about, talking about. I'm talking about in the years in the '90s. It took till. The DC, the, the Disney bought them to get for Marvel to get it. They, I mean, these guys went in and they like, here, we're going to give you a nice cover from Art Adams. 
hey, Art Adams cover, and it, and it wasn't like, nah, we got it, we got this. I don't know, bro. Marvel, they said we saw what you do with Star Trek both times. We're not giving it. Our to resume you. is not in with Dark Horse, bro. Our resume is in with. Uh, with of course, the- you have a bias. We probably would be, you know, <laughs> doing numbers with them if you wouldn't be trying to t- tear them down. Yeah. I'm not tearing nobody down. Plus, I saw the resume. Our, it's not our resume. I only saw your name. And team, and team, Mars and team, and Co. Okay. It was Mars et al. I was like, who? <laughs> Gents, have a good one. All Spirit right. Rock. Out. Oh.